The good old Aurora 714! My friend's son's getting married. He met this woman on a computer. Felt like having a hot cup of coffee and a piece of pound cake, you know? Went out for a drive today. I had to make a delivery for some tickets. Hey, the big man's back. www.thekidfrombrooklyn.com Hey, everybody. As many of you may know, the internet is, and has always been, full of unique and interesting characters, each one with their own individual stories and claim to fame, differing in every way imaginable. Some rise and quickly fall, some endure the winds of time, and some bear down on a tumultuous journey bringing them in and out of the limelight. How they react to these events depends entirely on their own character, whether they shun the attention, cling to their past to the point of no return, or embrace their new popularity and make the best out of their situation. This is the story of one such person, a man who was able to make a name for himself on the internet doing what he loved and was beloved by thousands of others in return. This is the tale of the big man, the kid from Brooklyn, Mike Caracciolo. Now, please note, this story will be organized as chronologically as possible to provide the most straightforward retelling of the story. Which brings us to the beginning. Somewhere around 1947, the date hasn't exactly been pinned down yet, Mike Caracciolo was born in Brooklyn, New York City. Growing up, Mike had always had a passion for theater and wanted to get into the business for himself, but Mike was never able to realize his acting career, and he instead became a ticket broker, selling seats for the shows he had always admired. However, as time went on, Mike must have become tired of simply selling tickets, because in 2004, Mike Caracciolo took on the persona of the big man. Somewhere around June 6th of 2004, the site thekidfrombrooklyn.com went up, featuring Mike in the starring role. Mike's style of videos was simple and straightforward, with a face-to-face -face camera angle and little to no edits. Mike would choose some topic he had an opinion on, which over time proved to be just about anything and everything, and delve into a spirited and enthusiastic rant, essentially non-stop, for around two minutes. Mike's rants were unrehearsed, profanity-laden, and completely honest. Mike was quoted saying, I'd be the type of guy I am with my views on the world today, the way the world was a few days ago, and the way things were plain and simple, and today they're complicated and confused. Mike originally intended for his videos to be just a small joke among friends, but this was ultimately not the case. In the years following Mike's creation of thekidfrombrooklyn.com, he began to gain popularity among viewers on the internet. Whether it was his charismatic delivery, his unique outlook on life, or his down-to-earth honesty, Mike was soon a favorite source of entertainment for viewers all across the country. People praised Mike's unique working man's perspective on the many facets of modern life, earning him the title Voice of the People. Popular among Mike's repertoire was his ever-popular Starbucks rant, in which he described his disgust at Starbucks' exorbitant prices. Whatever the reason, Mike was an early and particularly enduring internet sensation, continuing to make videos for many years. Such was his popularity that in early 2008, he released a book of rants with a name that I can't say on this channel. The book sold moderately well, and you can now purchase a paperback copy on Amazon for $952. I mean, th that's just ridiculous. Anyway, Mike continued making his videos, and on March 10th of 2008, an official Facebook page was created for him, showcasing the best of his videos although his original site remained the main source. However, this was soon to change, as around May 10th of 2008, Mike's site began to redirect visitors to another location. In May of 2008, Mike's page had essentially been shifted to the website of New Jersey-based broadcasting company MTR Media, with whom he stayed in business for the rest of his career. From this point onward, all of Mike's new videos were found on the MTR Media site. In mid to late 2009, Mike took his still ongoing ticket business to the next level, opening up the site whoneedstickets.com, 
with the mission of selling tickets to just about any show you could think of. Then, in February of 2010, an official Twitter page dedicated to Mike was opened, serving roughly the same purpose as the Facebook page. Later in the year, in September, Mike's official YouTube channel, called Big Man from Brooklyn, was created, hosting even more of Mike's content. This channel is still one of the easiest ways to find Mike's content since the original sites went down. From 2010 to 2013, Mike continued as he had for the last half decade, rolling out new rants every week. By this point, his collection of videos numbered in the hundreds, and even now, many of them are yet to be rediscovered. Presumably, during this time period, Mike rolled out what is probably his most popular video, in which he discusses the incredible benefits of Quaaludes at length. The big man would walk 20 miles for a Quaalude, let me tell you! People continued to enjoy Mike's rants, and he continued to enjoy making them. However, like all good things, this too came to an end. In mid-2013, Mike released what is believed to be his last video, Hi-Ho Silver. This is the big man, the voice, the voice of the people, with a fiery color of dust, a fire of smoke, and a honey, Hi-Ho Silver! On July 22nd of 2013, Mike Caracciolo died in New Milford, New Jersey at the age of 66. This came as a shock to his viewers, who expressed their condolences over the next few weeks. In the wake of Mike's death, a number of channels began to re-upload Mike's content on YouTube. The videos currently available are mostly split between four channels, Big Man from Brooklyn, MTR Media, Fishy Tautog, and this channel, whose name I can't say in the video, so I'll just call it FTS. Still, more videos can be found scattered throughout various channels. Some channels upload and remove videos at varying intervals, making it hard to find certain videos over time. This is partially the reason why the Quaaludes video only recently became so popular. The current upload of the video is actually a re-upload of a re-upload. Over the next few years, the traces of Mike began to slowly disappear. In mid-2015, MTR Media's official Kid From Brooklyn page shut down after being kept up for two years out of respect. The following year, MTR Media itself shut down, although its history can still be seen through its surviving social media pages. In September of 2018, WhoNeedsTickets.com went down after being kept up for a half decade. Now, most of Mike's legacy can be seen through re-uploads of his countless rants scattered across YouTube. Why the Quaaludes video in particular became such a hit is anyone's guess. However, many channels, particularly Fishy Tautog, have been actively re-uploading Mike's videos in recent months, doing their best to preserve Mike's memory in the form of his videos, acting as small snapshots of his singular perspective on the world and his bold personality. Whether you're discovering Mike for the first time or you've known about him all along, just remember, the big man's back, and it seems like he's here to stay. Mm -hmm.